Sony uh, HVR Z5 a uh, couple of problems the main problem is uh, when you put a tape deck in it or sorry when you put a tape into the deck you get an error That's okay I'm going to put a tape in now and we'll have a look at the, the screen And we can close our housing and if I try to record now all I get is this eject can't we can't tape we can't do recording on it if I switch the camera off power back on again Now, if I press record, it records okay. I am going to have to strip this down and have a look at this uh, tape deck assembly to see if there are any problems with any of the ribbon cables uh, that uh, that attach the main chassis to the sub chassis. And uh, I have another video, and I'll put a link here for that that will show you how to disassemble this to get that deck out. have the deck out now and uh, what I'm going to do now is um, I'm going to put the uh, tape jack to its eject position I do that by using a power supply I'm going to switch it on and I set the power supply to 3 volts and uh, limit the current to under half an amp and then I just this is the load motor here And it's now in the eject position. The cable I'm interested in looking at is this cable here that goes between this main deck assembly and this sub deck assembly because this tape deck slides in and out and this cable can uh, be subject to uh, uh, a lot of stress in his normal work of life so what I'm going to have to go in now is uh, take out this uh, mechanism here there's three screws that hold it in place one at the front should come up and then what we have here this side we should have um, this here will slide along the slide and there's a, a opening here that it can actually slot out and we have the same the far side and it slides up to the opening and that's that out of the way now this is where I got to be careful got to remove this item here and the first thing I've got to do is take out this lamp and then there's one screw over here and then we've got to just slide it there's two little slides here retainers here one here and one here. Just slide it towards the heads. And I'm going to have to lift this a little bit at the same time. Yeah. That's that out of the way. Now you can't uh, turn this deck over now because your bits will fall out of it at this stage. So you have to be very careful. Now where I am looking at is around this end here. Don't know if, if the camera is good enough here to get that 
right here along that corner there it looks like there's a bit of a tear in the uh, cable I'll see can I bring it back in a little bit I've taken this uh, uh, shot uh, with my uh, USB type uh, microscope and uh, because it, it wasn't uh, showing up very clearly on the main footage I couldn't get to zoom in and focus in at this step and uh, we can see clearly at this spot here going down that the um, print is actually broke um, is missing there along that line and we have the same problem up here even though it's not as clear because in a bit of a shadow that is the best shot I could get now we go back to the main footage Okay. Right there, round along there, there's uh, some of the print gone in that cable. And what happens is when it's in the open position, they're not making contact, so it gives you that error. So it thinks um, it, it, your deck has uh, the anti record tab uh, set on it. So it won't allow you to uh, record. But then when it's in the um, fully closed position, in the play load, sorry, in the fully loaded position, it makes contact. So that then you can do a recording. So um, unfortunately, this part comes with the deck. So the whole deck has got to be replaced. Um, I'm not aware of this part being available as a spare. Even if it was, uh, it would take a lot of labour to strip this down to replace it. I'm now going to order a new deck assembly for this. And uh, what the tools I will require when I, when I replace this deck is uh, the uh, Lank Remote uh, tool and the CPC 13 jig. Uh, without those tools, of course, I need the oscilloscope as well to set up the uh, tape pad. Without them tools, you wouldn't be able to replace this deck. Hope that's of some use out there. Uh, thanks for watching.